she wish she could go back in time and play games online like it's the 90s again. Well, you're in luck. Kali.net is here. Back in 1995, a platform called Kali popped into existence. It was widely supported until the early 2000s, but it still works to this day. You might ask, what is Kali? Well, Kali is a platform that makes it possible to play games like Doom, Quake, Blood, Duke Nukem 3D, and later 90s Windows games like Sega Rally 2 and others online with your squad. By emulating IPX and bridging connections between several computers, Kali streamlines retro DOS and Windows gaming. Thanks to this gem, you can do cross-platform multiplayer on real DOS, Windows 95, 98, sometimes even on Windows XP, though it breaks DOS games. And best of all, with modern VMs like VirtualBox or hardware emulators like PCM, you can host and join custom games of previously near unplayable or at least difficult to set up online games via Kali. This video will get you up to steam on how to set up Kali.net, the legend that still lives on today. Thanks to me, Jen Angry, Delphius, Jack, H. A. Dino, and our Discord community. Links are in the description. Be sure to join us on Discord and like, comment, and subscribe. But before we get to this retrospective and tutorial, we have a message from Amazon. Is your life meaningless? Do you seek meaning? Do you wish that you could just get the girl? drive into the sunset like it's an 80s movie. Well, Amazon can help you in your quest with 3D Doritos, the ultimate 90s gamer fuel that will help you impress that thick lady with your quick deathmatch skills and orange fingers as you compete in competitive game events with the retro machines and game enthusiasts, our mage, Discord, and work your way to the top of the retro gaming pyramid. Buy 3D Doritos today. Spice up your game. And support me on Patreon if you support my content. Anyhow, let's get down to business. If you're running real retro hardware, just visit Kali.net and throw your games in and scan for them. Use Kali Central if playing older machines, or use a game lobby if not. Both work. First, I'm going to show you how to set up PCM with Kali and Windows. Follow closely. And do note, opening port 2213 or 2273 may improve performance, but isn't necessarily required. Okay, so, after you download PCM, you just have to do this thing. Uh, we're going to make a new config. We're going to call it Windows 98. And then we have to select our motherboard. I suggested socket 7. The shuttle one's pretty good. Then you're going to want to choose a Pentium MMX. The 233 is a good balance of power to performance. And then our S3 Verge DX for the video card. <coughs> And then we're going to enable Voodoo Graphics. Voodoo one is fine. And the AW32 Sound Blaster, that's also fine. For our hard drive, we're going to have to make one, so you can make it whatever size you like. Bam. Then we're going to have to choose a network card. The real tech is fine for Windows. I 
and then we just have to mount our disk images the boot disk and the 98 CD so you're gonna see up here we can mount and adjust things and put us in exclusive full screen if we want um, all right so we're gonna mount those disk images the boot disk and the 98 CD Then it's going to start formatting our hard drive. Okay. <clears throat> and then we're going to start reinstall. This takes a little bit, so I've sped it up. Right, and then we're going to need our CD key. I'm going to admit that part, but you can find a CD key somewhere, I'm sure. Now that, now that the setup is complete, we're ready to get set up to run Kali. First, we're going to have to go find where Internet Exploder is installed. Okay, so if we open Internet Exploder, it's going to tell us to set up dial-up internet, which uh, I don't want to do that. So we're going to delete these two folders, sign up and connection wizard, and now we can open it. All right, so msn.com works. Perfect. And then we're going to go to this special website. This masterpiece of a website has everything that you need to get up and running. So we're going to download Adobe Flash and Retrozilla. These will be your best friends. Because when you're bored, you can use Windows 98 on either a real machine or here to watch flash video versions of videos. Now 
Now we're ready to get rolling. Okay. It's time to watch The Room in Flash. <clears throat> you could watch ABGM. But just for copyright reasons, I'm not going to show the actual episode. Wow, this is the best movie I've ever seen. Okay, that's enough. Anyway, now we have to set up NPCAP. You can download NPCAP in the description. As long as that's installed, when you go to configure host, which you'll see right down there, um, make sure your settings are correct. You'll see the PCAP setting. Um, select your ethernet adapter primarily. Wi-Fi can work, but Ethernet's just better. Now that you've set up NPCAP to route to your actual Ethernet NIC, um, the internet will now be much faster. <clears throat> okay, so now that all this is complete, we're going to go to Kali.net. Upon downloading Kali and installing, you'll have to put some registration info into Kali. All right. Upon installing Kali, as soon as we open it, it will prompt us. We have to register. So. You'll have to put some registration info in. You can use the same stuff that's in the video, unless you have your own key. The DOS version does not require this, however. Once that's done, you're good to go and uh, download some shareware versions of games from the uh, server.
and then also you're going to want to download 7-zip which is also in the website so now we just have to install Doom Once you've configured Doom, uh, you can change your controls too. So once you've configured Doom, you should be all set to go download the Realtek drivers if you're using that card um, to make the packets work properly. And also you should probably scan for Doom and Kali while you're at it. So as you can see here, we can now start lobbies for Doom with multiple players. This can be done either via a lobby, as seen here, or via Kali Central, which can link with DOS as well. So as you can see, people are in here and it works but before we can actually play a game in Kali Central you actually have to launch the DM or set up the EXE <clears throat> okay so we're gonna reboot first to make sure we install the real tech driver properly before we test the game We're going to reboot to make sure the proper Realtek driver is loaded before we start game. We're going to hit have disk and point to where we put the driver on our disk image. It's going to restart one more time. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Okay, and to be sure we got it right, we're going to network to change the duplex mode. We have to have it be full duplex. Now we can go into Kali Central, and boom, we're ready for a multiplayer game. As soon as we click on the uh, dm.exe and hit F10. There we go.
So we're playing Doom. The original DOS Doom. Multiplayer. It's glorious. And it's running very, very fast. This is incredible. So now it's time to set up Kali Docs. We're gonna stuff a Docs boot disk. Install Docs 6.22. All this is is throwing a bunch of floppy disk images into the PC. It's easy. You just hit enter every time. That's it. Now we've got to do a little bit of handy work here. We're going to have to convert our DOS IMG into an actual openable file. We just put .img at the end and then go into WinImage and uh, we can go copy the stuff from the IPX folder that we downloaded and it's golden. The link to that is in our description so if you didn't get all that Basically, just copy the contents into that image that you just made in DOS. That's it. This package comes with a readme file. So if you type edit readme.txt, you should see this. Delphius pound 7779 is a kind of a god and helped us create this automated utility. Um, it makes this a lot easier to do in DOS, streamlining the process. The download to his package is in the description. Delphius is one of the architects of this tool that speeds up setting up Kali and other things in DOS for multiplayer games. <coughs> So after you read all of this, you should probably have a PhD, because this isn't very obvious to a normie. Anyhow, we just have to edit um, some stuff. You'll see right now that when we try to connect to Kali, it's uh, connecting, but there's something missing, so we're going to have to edit the watcp file. As you can see, it's having trouble connecting. Packet driver is needed. All right, so we're gonna do a bunch of crazy shit here. So if you if you get lost, the guide is in the description. So first we're gonna install Doom.
All right. Looks like it's running properly. All right, so we're going to go to the Kali directory. We're going to see if the server list is working. Right now it's not. So that means we have to edit watcp.cfg. This lets you set a bunch of settings. So the ones we have to change are my IP. We're going to set that to our local IP. You can find that in IP config in command prompt. And then a gateway. Set that to whatever your gateway is in IP config as well. And then our name server. That's basically just our ISP's server address. Okay. So now we're going to see if Kali connects. It looks like Kali is connected. We can see somebody in our same lobby. So now that we're in the server, we can join our squad. For anyone not sure, the IP for Kali's Central, which is what we... Kali Central is basically that IP, but we're already connected so we don't have to type it again. So we're going to our Doom directory, type DM. We're going to set our settings according to how many people are playing with us right now, and what map we're playing on and the mode, deathmatch. And we're going to see if our other guy can join us. Looks like they were able to join us. However, I already got enough Doom footage, so I'm going to skip that, but at least you can see that it connected. Instead, we're going to play Blood. So in Blood, we go to setup.exe, and then... Bam. We're in. Jesus, it's running really, really fast. This is insane. Yeah, this is running faster than Doom. Yeah, this is some fast shit. For those of you... For those of you in confusion as to why I'm doing all this, we have some useful references. For those of you who are in confusion as to how I was doing all of this, we have some useful references in the description, as well as a Discord where you can get up and running. If you're a Mac user, you can still join us via VirtualBox, but PCM would require bootcamp. Let's bring back online 90s gaming, and bring back LAN parties while we're at it too. If you're wondering how well it runs other games, here's a victory reel showing off our accomplishments. So here's a four player Doom match. Look at our little colored Doom guys. And then here's a montage of all the things that we managed to get to run. If you'd like to join us in multiplayer games, just hit us up on Discord. Enjoy the rest of the video.
Oh, and before we finish this episode, it looks like we got a package. I wonder who it's from. Hmm, it looks like it's from Joy. Thanks, Joy. Appreciate it. Oh, there's an Amazon thing inside it. Huh, it's got some zebra print. Oh wow, it's a it's a happy box. Oh, that's a lot of stickers, Jesus. They must have taped this thing. Uh what kind of tape is that? Cool. Anyway, we're going to have to tear this thing open somehow. I'm probably opening this wrong. Oh, great. There we go. With my bare hands, I opened it. Oh, it's a giraffe. What? It says uwu. And it's a giraffe. And there's a little envelope with a giraffe heart on it. Yeah, cool. For some reason, I feel like there's something special in here. So I'm not going to show you guys what whatever that is. Because um, it's really hard to open. So yeah, let's, let's save that for me. Oh, it's a, it's a pizza cat. Oh, well, I like those. Pizza cat. Hmm. Wild raspberry hibiscus. Tea. Some tangerine emergency. Yeah, I need that. Oh, look at that. It's a little Totoro. And it's on like a canvas, like a mini canvas. And, oh, it says Uwu with a little heart. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Oh, it's like a, it's a face mask. Okay, cool. Sonic the Hedgehog stickers. Oh, there's a couple of them. Go real fast. Uh, I never heard of this game, but I think you into that. So, lol here, you enjoy. Uh, it is a... Pool of Radiance, Dungeons and Dragons. Hmm, I've never played that one before. Cool. Disciples 2 Dark Prophecy. Uh. Oh, cool. Another nostalgic obscurity. I don't know if this will work. Oh, okay. Uh, it is Ultima Online. It's some sort of expansion, I think. Huh. I don't even know if this will still work. I wonder if it does. It has the keys in the back, though. Doom 3. Some 
cute little faces. Hmm. That's a classic. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, it's it's wrapped in giraffe uh, stuff. It's like a Lindor chocolate. Anyhow, that super kicked ass. Thank you, Joy. Also, the box smells really good. Um, it kind of smells like getting locked in a bedroom, but kind of like enjoying it. Maybe a little too much. Um, my whole room smells like whatever that is, but I like it. So thank you. And also, uwu to you. Um, very uwu. Literally, the best thing I've ever been sent. And if you were trying to shoot your shot, um, you did a pretty good job. And I have to say, um, yeah, I don't think I've even had ex girlfriends send me things as cool as that. You literally found some really obscure software that is for vintage computers and also a copy of Doom 3, which I didn't have, so now I have an actual copy. Yeah, I have to say, that is a million out of ten. Um, if you enjoyed that video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Support me on Patreon. Join the Discord.